Here we go. I'm raising money to fund the completion of my new CD, which is called Anti Mass. A one, two, a one, two, three. The music is all original compositions inspired by artwork at the De Young Museum in San Francisco. The funds I raise will go towards mastering the recordings, producing the artwork, manufacturing the CDs, and promoting the album. This project came about because of the De Young Museum and the intersection of the arts in San Francisco. They both commissioned me to write a piece based on a piece of artwork at the De Young. From that first piece, it was so much fun to play and got such good feedback. I thought this would be a great idea to do a whole album of music inspired by artwork at the De Young Museum. I was lucky enough to get a musical grant from the San Francisco Friends of Chamber Music. So we went into Fantasy Studios for two days and uh, recorded a lot of music. It was a really great time to just go into the De Young and wander around and try to find artwork that really spoke to me. I just wrote the music mostly then and there in the museum with a little sketchbook and then came home later and fleshed it out. Anti-Mass, the piece itself, is really visually striking. It's like no piece that I'd ever seen before. Floating pieces of burnt lumber suspended in midair, and it's really, really interesting. When you find out that it came from a black church that was destroyed by arson in the South, it kind of takes on a whole other meaning, even beyond whatever you just see of it. And to me, it's about the reconstruction of material that was destroyed in a terrible event but created in something really positive and uplifting. It's very visual to me, like I kind of imagined the beginning of the piece kind of signifying an explosion or the fire itself. I knew I wanted to feature Dana Stevens, one of the best saxophone players around today and has a very unique voice. So I wanted to give him space to kind of like tell his story. really excited to have a group of fantastic musicians and they're some of the best musicians not just in the Bay Area but I think in the world. These are all musicians that I've worked with in the past. I knew they're playing really well so I knew how to kind of feature them in different situations. For this project we had Dana Stevens on tenor saxophone, Smith Dobson on drums and vibes, Cherith Premawardana on viola, Mads Tolling on violin, John Watala on bass, and uh, myself on trumpet. Mm -hmm. 